<laughs> mic check, mic check. Touching on the microphone. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. You're going to be here with me and my crew. Turn up, let me see. We got a sound? Yes, baby. Let me see. Yeah. All right. Microphone check, oh. one, two, one, two. Uh-oh. What you doing, baby? Microphone Go ahead, talk. We live. Intro. Welcome back, everybody. Today is Thomas Takeover Thursday. Mm. Woo, 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 woo. We know y'all pump. Y'all can get pumped with us. Y'all know we come here every Thursday at 7 p.m. and do a little something for y'all. Every week we try to bring y'all something a little new. So this is James Real Nesta, and I'm Crystal Real Nesta. My last, if y'all are new to the channel. My last name Real Nesta. Yes, James Real Nesta. Crystal Real Nesta, and together we are the Real Nesta. Yeah, wait, wait a minute. I got to sing the song. Give me a minute. I got to sing the song. Well, you shouldn't be doing all that stuff late. Anyway, that's your girl, Keep Going. <laughs> so, yeah! Today, as always, we bring y'all something new and different on each and every live. For quite a while, we was just sitting down and talking Facebook. to y'all and um, rapping and rhyming with y'all about... Subject situations, happenstances, and circumstances of life. Huh? But today we are doing something different. You want to tell them what we're doing different, baby? My name is Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Scorpion, real Nesta? Yeah, Scorpion, real Nesta. I, uh, I got my mask. I get ready to give you a fatal blow. Left on the oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we're gonna actually start this live off and we're gonna end it a different way because y'all know what the real nesters like to do, right? We like to bring y'all different prop stop that. Right, right. We like to bring y'all different videos every time we get a chance. So today, stop acting up. Right. We are gonna start right. off with talking about some health the things for this season in our lives. Yeah. So we're going to share with you oh. two things. Like she said, we're going to go over masks with you to make sure you stay healthy because everybody, I think, is mandatory in most places. Now you got to put back on your mask. And if you guys have been following us, you know we uh, previously did a review of the first half of Money Heist on Netflix. So today, after we run through a little safety for you guys with the mask, we're going to do our final review of Money Heist. We finally finished the whole thing. And we're gonna review it for you, but let's get into the mask. Well, first, before we talk about masks, can we talk about these little thing we call gloves? Yeah, these are our favorite gloves, actually. The hubby had these anyway before I demonstrate. all of this. I demonstrate. All this stuff happened in the yeah. world today. Yeah, because you can put these masks, these gloves on right here. Yep, and they actually pretty good with your cell phones. They have these little grippy grippies, if y'all can see that. Right so when you can have them on to use them with your cell phone. Um, we wear these a lot when we go shopping. Oh, you know what? Do you have your keys on you? What? Yeah, we yeah. can show you all our little take our little safety tips, as I would like to call them. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put these down here because the reflection of this um camera is on my glasses. But anyway, this is one thing that we use in our safety tips. The second thing, our new little trick that we got, if y'all seen our videos where I did my unboxing, this is a keychain piece. Um, it's a touchless keychain piece. So you use this part here to pull open doors, and you use this part here to tap buttons wherever you are, whether it's in an elevator or whether you're uh, going to the ATM or whatever, wherever you got buttons, you use that part. And you can hold it like this. Yes. So that's a, number two of our safety tips for being out in this world today. Because you, things oh, are changing. Oh, oh. Yeah, things are changing. And instead of becoming, oh, I was done, babe. Instead of us being overwhelmed by this, we just need to adjust. To be honest, 
I've been hearing a lot of videos where people are saying, wash your hands. And be even before this um, situation, I refuse to call his name out because it's getting on my nerves. But they remember they keep saying, wash your hands. You're supposed to have been washing your hands. Exactly. This, uh, this is going on anyway. Exactly. She always been washing your I was hands. listening to this video earlier and the guy was talking about how dirty carts are and things like that. Like people, were you not washing your hands and using hand sanitizer before this virus attacked us? Yeah. But anyway, before I go off on a rant, Part three, item three on our safety list is masks. Yeah. And I know if you guys watch our videos, y'all have seen us with our masks on, especially when we go out. Most of the time like this <laughs> is how we keep it safely tucked away. And then when we go in the store, we just pull it up just like this. But you don't need your mask on to cover your pretty smile. Oh, thanks, babe. Yay. So this mask here is our cloth mask. And I don't really under, no, know if this vowel really does much. But to be honest with you, this is my favorite one. Oh, yeah. You got to show them. I'm about to. So on the, the first inside, kind of mask we get ready to show you is one that she get ready to explain that has a removable filter inside of it. Yes. So I, I show you why she uh, talked. But basically... Inside inside this mask, it has a little slot in it where you mm -hmm. can put re reusable or replaceable. Was it reusable or replaceable? Yeah. Your replaceable filters. Mm -hmm. See, there's the front of the mask. And then inside of it, I can show you on Instagram and then on YouTube, you can put the filter, show the filter inside well, the mask. I actually um, ended up ordering these filters here are called the PM... 2.5 filters. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I ordered these off of Amazon. There we go. That's the right wave up. Yeah. And you, when I bought this original mask, we actually got these from the flea market. So this is how you put these, put this back in. You got to fold it in half until you get it halfway in there. Yeah. Let me hold this part. Yeah. And then you open it up. Now, I did some little research and found out that if you're a person who go out on a regular basis, you should be changing your filter every two to three days. So depending on where you go, the first day, you can still use that filter at least one more day. That's these masks. So you got how they're going to find this type of mask because the regular masks don't have an uh, insert for filters. So this is the kind that we bought right here. It's right, called, we got them from the flea market, it's, but it's it's called fashion mask. That, actually, uh, you can't find these online. I actually tried to research them. So if you're searching on online, look for mask with filter pocket. I also, you guys try to. I don't know if you can do it. Pause the video and try to scan. Let me see if you can do it. Pause the video and just try to scan that barcode right there. It don't work, right? And then so if you you can also try to find it that way. It don't work. Okay. I tried. Oh, the barcode. Oh, you said the barcode. Mm -hmm. Okay. I tried All to right. look up the design. It well, that's work. one type of mask. And these these are, are really nice, tight fit. You know, they are real tight. You just have to adjust them because as you oh, can yeah, see. Oh, yeah, that's another cool part. You, it is really tight on your ears like mine. You know, I got, you know, my ears ain't that big, but God, though. It, it actually has the adjustable thing here. Yeah. Oh. So you can yeah. pull it down but and it, make it smaller for a kid. Or pull it up for an adult. But I like the way it's fit, it's soft and everything. So we're gonna move on to the next type of mask that we have. You wanna do the well the let's go one? over the one that everybody has. You wanna do that one? This? No, do that one. Okay. I think well, that's we went from the best to the least. To the I least. Like it. Yeah, that was the best one with the chain. But the next type of mask that we also have in the house is the K ninety five mask. K N ninety five. K N ninety five, you can see that. And uh these are a little better quality. Uh, you know, than the, the the regular mask that you see out there. These are uh, uh, basically. Do you need to put a filter in this? It no. does So these are already ready. Filter, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the K95. So here's your K95 mask, and these are light on the ears, so you want to get that. And they fit pretty snug too. They it's fit good pretty for snug. Breathing and talking. Oh, don't forget to tell them with all our masks what we do to make them last longer too. The steam. Oh. Yeah. Well, you can follow me. No, this is. <laughs> what about you? Like this mask? What you think about this mask? Actually, I didn't use that one yet. Oh, you didn't use? Nope. Okay, okay. I, I actually, that was actually your favorite one for a while. Yeah. Before I got the other one. Try it on. Try it on. I don't have. I, I don't have Corona. You sure? Yeah, I don't have Corona. If I did, you have it already. You heard? Me? <laughs> don't forget. 
Yeah, it's it's softer. Yeah, he loves this one. Yeah, I, I didn't that. even try this one. How, how it feel though? How it feel? Yeah, too? it feels good. You feels can talk good. in it. It's pretty good to breathe in. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. The other one, the other one is, is, is like basically this is this one is my normal everyday one I wear. But if I'm going somewhere where I know it's gonna be a, a closed space or a real crowded area, I wear the one that has the, the, the changeable filter in it. And plus you can wash that one. And this one you can wash. And this one also looks like it's probably gonna be better when the winter time comes around because it's probably a little warmer too. Yeah. Is it when the winter time comes and around? And lastly, oh actually No, no, that's last right there. Okay. That's cool and one time. next to last is, of course, your regular disposable mask. Now, here's the biggest argument. That's your everyday have. mask. Blue side or white side? The white side is supposed to be towards your mouth. Okay. That's what we learned because we had to Google it. But a lot of people debate blue side or white side. The white side should be towards you your sure? mouth. Yes. Okay, okay. You forgot. I've been wearing it wrong there. I've been no. wearing I've been wearing it. No, we did not be wearing it wrong. The, You've been wearing the blue side out. Oh. You forgot. Okay. <laughs> I mean, well, I you know, I just wear those, you know. I don't wear that one that much. We, yeah, and when I did wear this, I learned I learned a little tip from a, a um my niece. She told me that, you know, people who wore these explained to her that if you do wear these you can fold up a paper towel like in fours to give it extra reinforcement because if you take a deep breath through this, you will realize your breath comes straight through this. Mm. So, I mean, I wore them for a while, but I also put the paper towel in it. Thanks to my niece for that little tip bit. Yeah. And, and uh, lastly. Last but not least, for this, especially for a lot of people that work outside in the elements, you can have a mask like this. This is basically your wind type of mask, but if you notice, it basically serves the same function as the other mask. So once you put it on, this is like for your winter time when it's real cold. But it does the same function, basically. And you got the breathing hole here. So that's the only thing with this one. Now, you could probably put another mask inside I of it. I was about to say, or a filter. Yeah. Because these filters and are pretty, for the pretty winter time. Um, flexible. Yeah. You could probably stick a filter in it or, again, a paper towel. Because so, if you fold the paper towel, it'll give you... They, they said the key is put your mask on. Another friend told me this. Put your mask on and see if you can blow out a candle. Then you will know how much protection you have. Yeah. If you can't blow out a candle, you are good to go. If you can... You need more protection, more, you know, you can start with paper towels or anything. Of course, you want to make it where you can still breathe. Yeah. But you want to be, the whole point of wearing these masks is to be protected from it and to um, protect others if you have it. And if, so, you, if you just can't get any of the other, you should be able to get these. These are all over the place now. And another thing, too, is that. They're talking about uh, it coming back real big in the fall. Right now would be the best time to stock up on some masks. And even if you can't get the other ones, get the wintertime mask because it is going to get cold. And then that way you got a, something to keep you warm and protected. But I, well, probably what I would do, honestly, work it outside. I'll probably get the, the cheat one like this, right? I'll the probably get the cheat one like this and then do that. That's probably what I would do. I would double it up just like that, cause that way, that that way, you double protect it, and you warm, especially in the winter time. Well, and they like that. I'll probably do some, it like um, that. Some pretty cool masks that's actually made with a neck now. Yeah. Which I've been seeing is better for little kids because they don't have to worry about the thing behind their ear. They could just pull it up over their face and pull it back down when they're done. Yeah. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's our little healthy tip. For the first couple of minutes of our video we hope that you enjoyed it we hope that you all learned something y'all can put some comments down below tell us what y'all are doing over wait, there. Babe. this ain't over with I'm, I, I'm, you you I'm, wind it down like it's over i with. said for the first part of well, our video well now we're getting into the second part we ain't gonna waste we're gonna get right into it we get ready to do the money heist review we finally finished money heist the Part massive four. 100 episode series it 100 on episodes. Netflix. It wasn't 100 episodes. He's exaggerating. And what we're going to do is, it's so much that happened that we're going on in the movie. Basically, uh, we've got a clip here. And the clip is about 20 things that you may have missed in Money Heist. Oh, this is a spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. So if you haven't watched Money Heist, 
don't turn us off. Just close your ears up and keep watching us so we can get the view. <laughs> but here we go. We get ready to run down. This is specifically too about the season three. Four. Four. No, remember it was only two seasons the way they split it up with all the episodes. So this is really season two that we started. Remember how they split it up? So this is basically the. Hey, just say the part. So well, you gonna be confusing this, people. This is the part where they went part to rob four. the gold. Where they get the gold. Part four. Four. So basically, we're gonna let this play in the each thing. This is a twenty different thing. If you saw Money Heist, that you may have missed. So let's go with the first one. Let's play this clip right here. That is hideout. Things aren't exactly looking good for the future. But if you didn't immediately jump away during the final credits, you might have caught a little detail that might just hint at how the interaction between Sierra and the professor might go down. A few seconds into the credits, a woman's voice begins singing Bella Chow, the sort of anthem of the crew. More on that later, by the way. Mm -hmm. So far in the series, the yep. only people who have sang that song have been the followers of the professor. Yep. So whose voice is it that is singing it now? Oh, that's none other than Sierra herself. So what could this mean? Well, it could be hinting yeah, that Sierra may be throwing on a red jumpsuit next season. While she has so far ah. staunch of she goes with size. Money Heist isn't exactly shy about big reveals. Maybe just maybe she has been playing the long game somehow helping the crew out from the other side all along guess we'll just have to wait for season five so if you know i don't how think i don't think she was she was playing them out but i do believe she crossed over what you mean it's all how it ended yeah well because if if you if you watched it you would know that they screwed her at the end. She was on the you, police. You saw about the police screwed her. Yeah. They tried to the, yeah. put all the blame on her. Yeah. Like I said, this is a spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen it, don't listen. Yeah. If you if you haven't watched this and you really want to get into it. Now, if you like me, you want to hear the spoiler so you could go look for it as you're watching it. But if you're not, uh, turn the volume down. Ah. <laughs> so you so you think somehow she's gonna go to the but she and uh, um, the other, other lady the other lady ain't gonna get along. That's not true. After see, she done forgot. drill, she was interrogating her and drilling her. Yeah, she was interrogating her and drilling her, but she didn't go as hard as she could. And remember, at one point during the interview, she broke down and started telling her what was going on with her. What I think, what I think will happen is she's gonna go and labor in there trying to arrest the professor and he's going to deliver her baby so she going to then go with them because you know he didn't you know do nothing to her he actually probably delivered her baby for her. Yeah. I, think that's that. I think she's just going to cross over because they screwed her well, let's get I into the next point find out for sure now most of you who are watching this Number video two. probably discovered money heist via netflix yeah the main distributor of the show around the globe but did you know that that's not where the show originated? I yeah, that. we knew that. It was not conceived as a Netflix original. The right. show originally aired on the Spanish network Antenna 3. Yeah. And in yeah. its first few episodes, it did incredibly well ratings-wise. However, as seasons 1 and 2 went on, viewership quickly tanked. So much so that the series cast and crew pretty much made peace with the idea that the show was a dud. It was and too long. that's when Netflix came in offering the show a new life on their streaming yeah. platform. And while Netflix did little to really push the series to their subscribers, the gamble has seemed to pay off. While Netflix refrains from releasing official numbers on viewership, it is reportedly yeah. now one of the most viewed shows on the platform in Italy. Because okay, remember, I was saying, because remember, uh, when I originally saw it, uh, it was all in the Spanish, uh, yeah, different, yeah, different language. Yeah. And then when, when we came across it, it's 2020. The first one was actually in 2017. Yeah. yeah. So it had already been out. So I said, man, and then after we watched it, I said, man, this movie, this is good as I don't know what. How come we didn't never hear about it? It's been out well, three years. Well, part of the problem is, and this is what we were saying at the beginning, if y'all caught the beginning of our video, we, this is really just a very long movie, that's to what, be honest. Yeah, that's number one. That's what got people. Se second of all, you know how when we watch shows, you got season one, two, and three. They don't announce there's as a season. They they label Episode. there as um one, no parts. Yeah, it said part one. Part one originally had fifteen episodes, but they split it down to part one and part two. So the first one I think went eight, seven, eight or nine, and then the rest of yeah. it, and then the rest of it finished yeah. in part two. So yeah, the way they broke it down, just like now the break. 
this is part four, but we still finish in the second part, really. It's a, it's like it's like a part two of the movie. This yeah. is part two, and they already broke it down in half. Okay. Yeah. But uh yeah, definitely uh, you know, it's a good place. It's it's good to check out. No kids though. Yeah. No children. Mm -mm. Argentina, Chile, France, Portugal, and Brazil. You know, despite being a fantastic Number three. show, you've got to admit, Money Heist isn't exactly going to win any awards for having a super original title. But the show's <laughs> original title was a bit better. In Spain, where the show was originally produced, the title it was given was La Casa de Papel. I saw that. Yeah, we see that a lot. English La Casa de Papel. The House of Paper. In uh, this case, yeah. of course, referring to the fact that the show largely takes place in banks and such, where paper money is oh, yeah. sold. Yeah. That is a much more interesting La Casa title. De paper. Paper. Than the alternative title that they almost went with. La Casa de Carta, or The House of Cards, which oh, was avoided in order all... to not be confused yeah. with the Netflix series by the same name. Yeah, yeah. Tokyo is probably four. the big standout in terms of characters on the show. She managed to be equal parts endearing and utterly awesome. If you are not a really. fan, though, she might mean? just remind you of a certain little girl from a certain 90s action flick. What? Yeah, what? Tokyo was based off of Natalie Portman's character Matilda from the 1994 film oh. Beyond the Professional. Pretty much everything about her initial yeah. appearance was borrowed from that character. Her okay. clothes, her hair, even some of her mannerisms. Tokyo. I don't think she nice. is. She is not my favorite person in this movie. She makes you want to choke her. But could would the movie have been as good as it is without her in it? Or would it have been uh, got to the got a little boring? Mm, yeah, maybe, possibly. Then she's all a the, wild all card. The, all of the characters are wild in their own way. She's just the extended. Her and whoever the leaders are. She's like number two. She she's always bucking the system inside the system. Okay. Yeah. But she's not my favorite not character. That is at all a bad thing though. Leon the Professional is an iconic bit of cinema, so it is understandable why the creators may have wanted to pay homage to it. In okay. addition to being a just number five awesome character, Tokyo was also the first character in the series to get a name. Reportedly, her oh. name came around due to almost complete happenstance. Jesus Colmenar, one of the show's directors and producers, stated that it all came about because Alex Pena, creator of the show, oh. once came into work wearing a shirt with Tokyo printed on it. So that was the really? first name. And said, hey, that would make a great character name. And from there, the name stuck. Really? Now, besides no, Tokyo, we didn't know none of that. all of the rest of the crew Number six. names that are based upon national capitals. Berlin is the capital of Tokyo, Germany. Berlin. Helsinki that was a thing. Lisbon is Portugal, etc. That was the other thing about the show is that how they named everybody after certain cities. Yeah. And then uh that was because they weren't supposed to have like any personal, personal relationship. Yeah. So nobody was supposed to know any information about any of the other people. Yep. There are only a handful of characters on the team who don't go by national capitals. Denver mm -hmm. is the capital Denver. of Colorado. Denver. A state. Rio de Janeiro is the capital of the Brazilian yeah, state yeah. by the same name. Palermo is the capital of Sicily, which is a region in Italy. And Marseille is just a particularly populated French city. Not yeah, quite yeah, sure yeah, why yeah, these yeah. particular characters weren't given the names of national capitals, but maybe something about them in particular will be revealed someday. One member of the crew who doesn't Number have seven. a city based name at all is the professor. Ah, the professor. He's the architect of the whole thing. Yes. Yeah. Without him. He's the brains. He's the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. He's the machine. Yeah. But he's the, he's the engine. Well, I guess the engine inside yeah. the machine. Yep. He's he the is. mastermind. Because without him, none of them is plump. Yeah. The professor, let's he's see. Mastermind. However, while he doesn't have one officially, the actor behind the character, Alvaro Morte, thinks he knows which city name. Yeah, so the professor. The professor definitely was in charge of everything. Well, you know what? And the and the thing about this, even though they talking about the names, it was pretty cool how they came up with that idea. And the, that was I think that was in part one. And the professor fits him uh the name perfectly. In an interview when he was yeah. asked about what city he would choose to be named after, he said, quote, the concept of what it is fits it, but we have to remove the religious components. This would be Vatican City. It's a state city, a very small, oh. but like the professor, it's always shielded. And at the same oh. time, 
he is wanted to call this Vatican City. Vatican City is, of course, the place where the Pope lives, a small independent city state in the heart yeah. of Rome. Which itself is the capital of Italy. Being the seat of power of an entire Vatican religion, City. the parallels to the professor are fairly obvious. Yeah, they do indeed Makes work sense. super well. Maybe someday they was gonna call them Vatican Canon in the series itself. <laughs> Something that the earlier number eight, aren't number eight, exactly great at conveying that the later seasons do a better job at illustrating. Yeah. is the relationship between yeah. the professor? <laughs> that and is true. Man. In yeah. case you didn't quite catch it, because they did a lot of flashbacks, right? The they did a lot of flashbacks. And partners in crime. In fact, the they are actually half brothers on his mother's side. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It didn't say that part. Half brothers on the mother's side. On the mother's side. It didn't and say that. If you guys just joined us, we're reviewing the Netflix uh, series. Uh, money, money heist. heist. Hey! And, and, and the top 20 things you may have not noticed while you were so watching So if you've it. seen it, these are you might not have noticed these because we didn't even know. Now, it. hold on. That part, I didn't, I thought they had the same father. Because in season one, he said something about uh, Papa. That's where that song came from. But he said they had the same mother. Uh, half mother? Let's, yeah, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. See no, he, he, yeah, he said they half brothers because they share the same mother. Let's go back. See they where. got the same mom and different fathers. Here we go. Aren't just good friends and partners in crime. In fact, the two are actually half brothers on his mother's side. Seems mm -hmm. like the professor liked to keep okay. the leadership side of things in his Wait close a minute. inner circle. And what is... Half brothers... On his on mother's side. They that... share the same mom. Okay, I guess. All right, let's go. Closer... And family. Now here's a question involving Bernie Number nine. Has some pretty major implications. Who exactly is Tatiana? Berlin's mysterious. Yeah, the, what, what happened well, to There is one theory that could provide an answer. The theory right. posits that Tatiana, despite being played by a completely different actress, is actually Inspector Sierra. With Sierra singing Bella Chow in the end credits for season four, this would give her a solid nah. answer to the bird. And the kicker to this theory? Sierra states that her husband's name is Germán, which looks and sounds an awful... Wait a minute. She did say her, her husband, husband died. Yeah. So he could be the father of the baby. That would... No. If the, I mean, if they decide to put it together like that, eh. But no, because remember, he died in the last bank. Oh, and it's been two years. And he was getting ready to marry the other girl. Oh, yeah, because... Cause he can't, he can, and she was still pregnant. Right. So he couldn't get her pregnant because it's been two years. Right. Since the last heist. Right. Yeah. So that 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 yeah, that, that ain't no, right, right that, there. That guy reaching like German or Germany, which Berlin is the capital of. Throughout Money Heist, number ten, the main theme. There is one song that keeps popping up. Bella. All over the, the Bella place. song. This is of course the little tune entitled Bella Ciao. Bella Ciao. An old Italian folk song. What's up? What does it Instagram. mean? Well, Bella Ciao, or Goodbye Beautiful in English, is a song that has long been used as a sort of anti-fascist anthem, with its lyrics having been changed Bella Ciao. World War II in order to reflect the Italian citizens rising up against. What's the up, G? and his followers. <laughs> it has also since been adopted worldwide as a sort of rallying cry for freedom, which is probably why... The hey, Jeeve, have you, have you seen Money Heist yet? If you ain't seen it yet, you need to sit down. And get on that How place. long is it going to take him to watch it? Ooh, well, we... We, 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 attacked, off a week. we attacked it two, two sections at a time. We watched two every day. But it's 16 and 16, so it's actually 30. 32 episodes. Yeah. That you got to watch. Yeah, we took like but, a two-week break from part one to part three. But one thing I can say, once you start watching it, you ain't going to be able to stop. Yeah. Even though it's, it's a lot of many episodes, you're not going to be able to stop watching it because it, 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 it's good to go. And it, it do got some little slow parts. But as soon as you get ready to get ready to click that TV off, yep. that's when the action picks up. So, so. Make, make sure you guys pay a page of Netflix up. Because that's all <laughs> they see is only on Netflix. But let's go. Yeah. Let's get to the next point. See what you're talking about. The show is so fond of it. Here's a fun behind the scenes. Number 11. How the show is made. Unlike a lot of modern dramas, Money Heist isn't completely plotted out before the cameras start rolling. Mm. In fact, the episodes are filmed in chronological order. Since the scripts for the episodes are written only a short while before production on those episodes actually begins. Yep, the show is written in parallel to filming. 
This is mm. done so that the show's mm. writers can better pivot based upon so, what they think so is best each for the show. So uh, each couple of days. In season three, a one-and-done joke about Marseille's love of animals quickly became a defining character trick, humanizing this often stoic criminal. And given the way that the show is Number written, it is completely so they wrote it on the fly. So the show's original plan they they are making it to the final product. One such example is the actual reasoning behind everyone joining in on the heist in the first place. Now, we all know that Berlin had a serious disease, specifically Helmer's myopathy. However, originally, myopathy, many, if not all, of the members of the crew were meant to have terminal illnesses themselves. Oh. The original idea was that each of them would be seeking out the means to pay for their own treatment or seek to get back at the system for failing them. Ultimately, mm. this idea was axed. Hemometathomy. Is that what he said? <laughs> say it, man. Say it. Say nope. it. Hemometathomy. Hemosomatomy. Say it, man. Say it. Say it. Say it. I will say. Hemometathomy. Based on the last statement of, about them um, writing it on the fly, makes sense why other scenes are like drawn out now. Because they everybody tried to get everything in and, that they, they put yeah. in. It wasn't no I mean, time to edit. I mean yeah. I mean you know it was really yeah. streaming. But edit. if you look at it, it lays together really nice. Especially if you like movies that jump back and forth yeah, 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 and side yeah. to side like you know they take you on they talk about his journey then they go back to my journey then they jump to another character then they come all the way back to his so they did really good with that. Wow treat but I ain't messing with that disease really thing. Berlin keeping the disease aspect of his character Something else that was included 13. in the original idea for the show that actually did manage to make it to the screen this time around is Denver's signature out there laugh. I'll show you my time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Here you go>. <laughs> <laughs> Denver's actor, Jamie Lorenzo, was cast in the role, the character was meant to have a distinctive laugh. Early drafts of the script called for the character to have a quote-unquote trashy laugh, and each actor yeah. who was brought in to read for the role was asked to interpret that in their own way. And now we have his memorable chuckle up there on the screen for all to see. Here is an interesting number four of the show. The iconic red jumpsuits and Salvador Dali masks that the Salvador Dali the show have actually been used in real world protests. Yeah. And even a couple of copycat bank robberies. Yeah. Protest wise, the outfits have popped up in demonstrations in Lebanon, yeah. Iraq, France, and Chile. Yeah. Which, if you remember from earlier, are some of the countries where the show is reportedly a bigger hit? Yeah, that match was already popular. Salvador Dali, because yeah. um, Anonymous, I think Anonymous uses those masks too as their yeah. mask. Uh, the Anonymous people, the hackers and stuff. Salvador Dali. So what we all we get, we almost there. Couple that with the overall political nature See? of no, the show, knowledge. and it makes sense that the politically minded would latch on to the show's iconography. There are two scenes throughout the we series had number that proved 15. To be particularly difficult to film. First was the sequence where the professor tried to Spoiler rain alert. Of euros down over Madrid. This sequence was complicated largely by rapidly shifting weather patterns, which <laughs> made getting the money to go to where it needed to go nearly impossible. Next was the sequence where Denver had to scuba dive inside the vault. Now, shooting underwater is always difficult. Yeah. But when you take into account the fact that the team had to build a replica of the vault in an underwater tank and that the gold bar props that they had... Uh-oh. So, I, you guys, y'all really just have to go watch it for yourself. Um, this The whole way that the, the professor brain worked and how they put this whole thing together about digging this gold underneath. So we're still, we're pretty good at when we're watching movies, we predict. can predict the next action that's going to happen. Right now, we are both stuck, have no idea how they're going to get this gold out of this bank. And the, you know what they say when you say you're normally two steps ahead? Yeah. Professor is like five or six steps no, ahead. No, he's more like six months ahead. Six months? Six yeah. Months steps. No, like months. Whatever you thought of, he's already thought of how to solve that. Like he's awesome. How many steps you gotta take to get to the next month? Thirty oh. days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He I, tried it. I tried to get you. He tried it. Look okay. at it. makes the whole thing significantly more difficult. It does look totally awesome though. Yes. Special effects are always number fun sixteen. To hear about, as they're probably the most entertaining part of the Special whole effects. filmmaking process. One great example of special effects work that we see during the series happened during the first battle between the crew 
and police forces. During this conflict, several police cars had their windows replaced by something called sugar glass. Sugar oh. glass, in case you're unaware, acts like regular glass in most cases. But sugar it's made glass. out of sugar, as the name would suggest. It breaks and shatters just like real glass. It's nearly harmless, meaning okay. that there weren't exactly any risks involving cuts and so forth, making That's it a cool. lot safer than actual glass. Ah, we got some knowledge. Y'all make sure y'all Google that sugar glass. But, but see, sugar glass. I don't know how y'all feel about this, but for me, don't ruin the whole thing. Okay? We already saw it, man. That's no, how we no, no. It. You know what I'm saying is when people dive into, like, you know, a magical trick and tell you how it's solved, can we just keep some mystery in it? Like, Look. that wasn't a big deal to put there, in my so opinion. So you didn't want to know that? No. I did. No. I'm gonna get me some sugar glass and put it in my glass, <laughs> and when I break it, like like you know, oh, you, look, you know I'm so strong, right? So like if this was a glass, I'm so strong. When I go up to take a drink, man, I just smash, I smash the whole glass in my hand because of my strength. Well, it's okay. like like yeah. Samson, yeah. yeah and then, I, that way I won't oh, cut my oh, hand. All right, like, I love you, baby. Oh, baby okay, baby. okay, okay. There, you go. there is one character. Seventeen might just have the most on the nose name. If you really stop and think about it, Stockholm, Stockholm started out as a <laughs> Stockholm. Civil secretary Stockholm. working in the Royal Mint of Spain. However, once the great heist went down, she quickly fell in love with Denver and wound up joining the robbers. Now that has us asking one simple oh, question. Well, they go talk Stockholm about that fool. Have Stockholm syndrome. Stockholm syndrome the refers guy, to the, the, the idea of the when bad a guy captive that, falls in love with guy. his or her captor. And that certainly sounds like Stockholm, all right? The yep. show never so they gave her her name because they knew her care. So Stockholm is Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, that's where what, the Denver, captain falls after. Uh, Denver in named love her with, that. I mean, yeah. Denver named her that. Remember because she fell in love was, with the cap captain. He, uh, who was it? His dad. Yeah. And somebody else was trying to convince him not to mess with her. Yeah. And he didn't know what that mean. Uh, was it uh, what's our girl? Number two, the second girl. Uh, Na Naomi and uh, it was a Naomi, the one that died. Yeah. Okay. So she, her, and his dad was trying to convince him not to mess with her that, because she she had Stockholm syndrome. And once they got and out of there, it, it went. Yeah, he went in towards the end. So when they decided they would stay together, he named her Stockholm. Yeah. He actually named her that. Cool. Her outwardly addresses it, uh, but for go, my money, what we up number eighteen? Just that's have right. Her namesake syndrome. One of the more action scenes in season four of Money Heist showed the escaped bodyguard fending off the crew members who were coming at oh, him. Oh, this part just sides. made me so in mad. In order to make his escape from that situation, he whipped out two pistols and fired them each in a different direction, which is something that we see quite often in movies and TV shows. But how realistic is it to right. get guns akimbo like that? Right. As effective as the media makes it seem. Yeah. Right. Uh, nope. In fact, many different experts have tested it out and found that it is nigh on impossible to accurately use. I told you. Yeah. And the chances of actually hitting any targets are slim to none. So the next time that you're in a gunfight for yeah. whatever reason. Uh, that was one Akimbo. of the, that got was, that from video games. Though. But that was one of my issues when we was watching this movie. That they didn't that, hit him. that part made me so mad because I get that you know you want your character to last but at least let them get hit or something how his two little pistols gonna do something when they shoot your machine guns from both ends and he don't get hit that's when they take it too far yeah they got different video games the kimbo kimbo is in a lot of the video games and stuff but you know like you say it's real hard to, to be accurate i'd avoid trying to utilize your best john woo moves <laughs> you know, Rio Number is a 19. pretty young character. Rio. Super young, actually. At the start of the series, he is said to be only about 19 years old, mm -hmm. which is kind of interesting, all things considered, especially when you take into consideration that they also state that he's been hacking for years. Mm -hmm. So wait a minute. Oh. That would mean that he was an experienced criminal while he was still in high school. Now, that is possible. Well, no, it's a lot no. of hackers that are teenagers, so no, that is no, possible. No, but he he missed this guy who talking about this missing a point. What he only did it one time before this. Mm. He I guess he you know he fooled around, he was smart on the computer, and somebody hired him to do something. He didn't even really know that it was it was it was a bad thing. Like he was in another kind of heist, if you want to say. Yeah. And he got I guess he got caught right away. That's how 
that started. Mm. So it really only was one time. Or at least the Spanish equivalent of high school. That's one of those things that you don't really think of too much, but it definitely puts the whole genius part of his qualifications into perspective. Yeah, he's still a genius. The guns that we see the robbers use. Number 20. The are Last one. Some of the more interesting ones visually. But what are they exactly? Well, those are variations of the Heckler & Koch G36, a rifle designed in the early 90s for use by the Unified Armed Forces of Germany though it has since been adopted by militaries the world over. For its part, Hollywood tends to use it due to its interesting appearance, yeah. looking more futuristic and space-agey than something like the M4 platform that the U.S. military commonly uses. Yeah. Don't put ideas in my head, huh? Don't put ideas in my head. And they what shouldn't did have did that. Of money heist? Were there any small... Yeah, so that was, that was the 20 things that you may have missed about money heist. And uh, definitely. So, what did you wait a minute? But what did you think about this video? Like, did you think that all the things he? I thought he was going to be more personal. Yeah. Like the thing about the sugar glass and the gun. I think he was just going by his own opinion. Nothing. Uh, his couple of things was on point, but yeah. half of it was probably just his own opinion that, yeah. that he put in there. Yeah, because uh, that first part about. The 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 lady with the red hair ended up being Berlin's wife. Yeah, that's a great idea, but not gonna happen. Yeah, her husband died one from cancer, and secondly, her husband I mean Berlin died two years previous, so she wouldn't have been able unless the only way they could spend that is that after Berlin died, she got remarried. Mm. That's the only way they could spend that. <clears throat> Talk about the one that's pregnant. Yeah. She and her second husband just died too, yeah. which will explain why she's so evil. Mm. What's happening? No, you, yeah. So that would explain why that's the only way they could squeeze that in. Because other than that, but no, Berlin and his wife was divorced because he kept trying to marry yeah, the girl in the back. They got you still perplexed. So you, <laughs> so you just got to wait until next season. To find oh, it's, it's driving me crazy. They need to go <laughs> ahead and drop the next season and stop playing with that writing. I think it's coming out in the fall. I think so. In the fall? <laughs> See, this is why I don't watch things until they're done. So I can watch them at my own pace and it could be there. Well, make sure you guys watch Money uh, Heist on Netflix. Well, uh... What anything else you want to say, babe? <laughs> babe, why you look like you just ready to give up? You they frustrated. Wanna... You like, right, just get out of here. Anyway, I like to say thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. Thank you for our two subscribers who's been hanging on here through the whole time. But you guys didn't say anything, so we can't give you a shout out. <laughs> we appreciate y'all. Invisible shout out. Please don't, please don't forget. To comment down below, let us know if you guys have watched um, Money Heist and what was y'all thoughts? What did y'all think about the top 20 things we may have missed? Um, Make sure y'all check our community board on our YouTube. We have a new Instagram page. So make sure you guys go to mm -hmm. our Instagram page and subscribe to us over there. Is it? Just click on community right here on YouTube and you got the link right there. And uh, that's pretty much it for us for the night. Yeah, everybody. Um. <clears throat> Don't forget Twitter, Instagram. Give us some thumbs up, you guys. Y'all be hanging in here with us, and y'all forget to give us a little likey like. Yeah, and it's not gonna cost y'all nothing. We need it for the video algorithms. Yeah, for the, for the YouTube algorithms. Yeah, because you know we are big YouTubers. We're big, we're, we're big, big YouTubers. YouTubers. And so, in order to be big <clears throat> YouTubers, you need some thumbs ups on your videos. We need some likes down in that, uh, some comments down in there. And don't forget, y'all can share our videos out. So y'all can share us out and be like, "What y'all think about that?" Hmm. Worldwide, you know, baby. help us out here. So we thank you all for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next video. We'll see you on the next video. See you on the next video. See you on the next video. He did it again, right? He's just supposed to say peace. <laughs> 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 you did it again, right? No, He's just did. supposed to say peace. <laughs>